In Surat Al Ankabut, this was revealed when torture started in Makkah. At first in Makkah, there was ridicule, right? Or there's this dismissal, poor man's lost his mind. So they're dismissing him. Ignore, maybe if we ignore him enough, he'll go away. That's not working. And some of the poor are starting to accept. Some of the slaves are starting to accept. Some of the, some, one or two prominent people in Makkah are starting to accept Islam. This is turning into a bigger problem. Maybe we should negotiate with him. That's not working either. So he's not compromising. He's not making a deal. Then they think maybe he has an alternative agenda. Maybe he just wants to be the governor or he just wants money out of this. I mean, he's got to have some other motive. Let's find out how we can buy him out. That didn't work. Then maybe we could scare him. Then what you can call character assassination began. He's a liar. He's a poet. You know, he's insane. When that didn't work, then the fear mongering, he will, he's, he's, a, he's a magician who will cast sorcery on your followers. Don't listen to this Quran because it will overcome you. you. You don't understand. This is powerful, heavy magic, right? When none, all of that failed, then torture started, right? First by first torturing the easiest targets, his followers that don't have a good defense. And of course, then attempts to even beat up and even kill the Messenger of Allah himself, وسلم, right? So things are getting escalated to the point where now things are becoming violent. When things were becoming violent, Allah revealed Surat Al-Ankabut. And Allah told the believers, did you think you're just going to walk into heaven without being tested? And by the way, if this is a struggle for you, you're not doing me a favor, you're only doing it for yourself.